Hello, this is Cindy from cinderspaperclaft.co.uk and I am bringing you a tutorial to do that as when I done my tutorial on how to do the box with the bow everything that could possibly go wrong went wrong including this I wanted to show you how to make a different type of bow to go on top of the box if you didn't want the longer one. So went to the time trusted do one of those. Without thinking, it's in card, it's incredibly hard to do when it's in card card, not card. So as it all went so horribly wrong, I'm going to show you how to do it. Now a lot of you will know how to do this. This isn't something I've invented. It's been around for many years. But because it is to go on top of a box or a gift and it's coming up that time of the year, I thought I would show you how to do it just in case some of you don't know. Right, so you can use a snail or a tape runner of any sort. You can use uh, tear and tape, which I think I'm actually going to use, or you can use wet glue, um, your Tombow, or everyone's very particular about their glue. Um, it's <laughs> everyone's glue is better than everyone else's, and I swear by this. I used to use Tombow all the time, all the time. I wouldn't have even think I wouldn't even think about using another glue until I tried this because it dries matte. Tombow is fantastic. And I learned from a very dear friend of mine, Cheryl, from Cheryl B. She is, a, I speak of her often, um, an American stamping up demonstrator. Um, it's funny, about a year or so ago, she done a series on how to do doodle flowers, where you actually doodle them yourself, you draw them in. And they have become the height of fashion now. So she was ahead of her time and it's funny that some of the other things she was doing back then are now becoming fashionable. So should you want to see what's going to become fashionable, just go back and watch some of hers. She's Cheryl B and if you type in Cheryl B it will come up. She has a wicked sense of humour, a very dry sense of humour and um, her cards are gorgeous. So what I was saying is if you um, apply Tombow and allow it to dry it then becomes a glue dot so if you were gluing on two bits of card let me show you so if you had two bits of card and you glued them on you would apply Tombow down there or onto something very fine and then once it dry you can just stick it and then of course the glue can't splurge out so that is well worth bearing in mind right so here we go so I have strips these are one inch and we have seven eight nine and ten now I'm not sure how many we're going to use but I have alternating DSP you want to use paper for this and not card that's where I went wrong in the other one and I was finding it very frustrating because that video is one catastrophe after another right you won't need to try and break the fibers down like I did there so this that video is going to come out after I've uploaded this one but everything that could go wrong did go wrong and that's just not good the crafting goods gods were supposed to smile on me as it's my birthday oh no let's make Cindy look an Egypt right so I just folded both ends I know a lot of people will do just fold over and then attach them I want to do two ends so we'll do that again 
so whichever way oh, tell you what this tape is very good <laughs> but I do wish it would stay on the roll let's get rid of that it's very distracting right so you're going to put it on the side that you're then going to fold it down on let me get rid of these bits it's very distracting I realise just how scruffy a crafter I am and it's really good if you have double sided tape it's also really good if you look at what you're doing and put it on properly right so in the other video as you know I'm starting to give away what I make because my craft room is groaning under projects. So, I announced the winners. I'm not sure. I, I know one is definitely from the UK. Which is lovely Susan. And then there's Mandy Garforth, I think. Mandy Garforth and Muriel... Briant, I think I've just slaughtered your name, sorry. Um, so, they are the winners. So, they need to contact me. I've put all my details in the other one. So, I will be doing a really, really cute spinner card. Um, that's going to be one of my projects in the other video as well when you get to watch it um, I'm asking the question I am challenged when it comes to cards and I truly believe that if you're not good at something keep doing it until you are <laughs> so I was going to have a week so that will be one a day for seven days of doing fun fold cards and also gift card cards, gift, gift card holder cards. So I thought that might be fun. I don't know if I'm going to do any more. If you've got a thicker card than this, because this is quite thin DSP, you might want to run your bone folder around it. Right, so as I was saying, I was going to do that. I will still be bringing out 3D projects, but with the run up to Christmas, I need to be showing you how to do these sooner rather than later. Let me put all the bits of things glue on here while I'm driveling on um, yes so I plan to be doing cards at the moment and 3D projects I have a beautiful handbag project coming up and it is gorgeous I absolutely love it I really love it and my other handbags went down a well, went down a tree. So I'm hoping these will as well. And I will also be doing your, um, the tea light holders and that lot that um, are really popular at Christmas time. So I'm only going to do those for now. And that is the nine inch. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing. And I did also ask the other question, what you guys thought of. When things are bought out by stamping up and then they become discontinued, I still use my stuff. I do not have the money to just use something once and then not use it again. And I don't like getting rid of my stash. So, I, oh, that was clever. I was thinking, you all buy 
your stamping up bits and then when they get discontinued you still have them so the question was would you like me to do a series of discontinued stamping up items because I think if we if we ask you to buy them and this is in no way reflecting on anyone but I think if I if I get you to buy something or if I show you something can you fall in love with it that's a better way of saying it then it's good if you can get as much use out of it for a longer time than a couple of months or, and, or that before it stops getting used. Does that make sense? <coughs> I don't know how to put that in the, any other way than what it is. God, this is sticky cellar tape, I tell you. Tear on tape. Yeah, so I also asked that question. Because obviously, as it's discontinued, you won't be able to buy it. But if you have it in your stash, then it's a good use of it. And if you don't have it, then I can give you an alternative that is available now. I don't know. You can tell me what you think. I obviously do have a lot of crafting items that aren't stamping up and do regularly do other cards and bits and pieces with other brands. Right, so that's all you're going to do with these. Take it one way and fold it and then the other way and fold it really nice and simple this yes so I've got some nice tea holders coming up tea holders tea light holders and boxes because they're all always really really popular at this time of the year because people don't necessarily have oodles of money to go and and buy lots of expensive presents for um for colleagues although if you do get some a big pack of inexpensive tea lights or you buy some of the scented ones that you can get in the pound shop or the dollar shops in America then you make up a, a gift box to go with it and suddenly it looks really expensive if you see what I mean you can take a one pound item and make it look like a lot more and at the moment I'm sure you'll all agree that that would be a good thing we'd all like to save some money I feel but still give a really nice present and handmade things is so in fashion even if it wasn't I'd still do it because I love crafting I love paper craft it doesn't matter if it's fashionable not to me but some people are are very concerned about what's fashionable so I think that's a good idea Right, I'm nearly there. I mean, a lot of you will know what it ends up like. It's not going to be a surprise. But it's just really good to use up scraps. And if you are using thicker paper than this, you will need to, I think I've already said it, I think I'm repeating myself, but you probably will You need to use your bone folder Because when I was using that with the cardstock, I kept thinking, why is this not working this time? Why is it going so wrong? 
not even thinking because I did use my bone folder but it was just awful and then I remembered why you use DSP oh yeah everything could go wrong went wrong so you're just gonna have to grin and bear it with me right so there are all the bits and now we are going to stick these together I could use glue with this but I'm not going to I think it would be better just to get this down and stuck. Oh, I need to put those together first. Right. So I hope everyone's weekend has gone well. On the day of recording, it is Sunday, the 12th of November. I don't know if I've told you this already. <laughs> I know I have. It's my birthday. I still got so excited over my birthday. I'll be going to work tomorrow. Everyone at work knows how excited I get at my birthday. And they all spoil me rotten. But to be fair, I do have to say, I also get excited when it's their birthday and spoil them rotten. It doesn't have to be my birthday to get excited. It always makes them laugh at how excited I get at other people's birthdays. But what can I say? I'm still a child at heart, really. I don't quite want to grow up yet. I still like to believe that there's a Santa Claus, really. Actually. Would that be a good thing? Someone breaking in via your chimney? Hmm. Perhaps not. Right. Oh. So, here we are. you know I do like double-sided tape but it is so mucky right so that is going to go on next so let's peel that off Oop. right now We'll put that one on. I think I'm going to have to put more of these on to make it a bit fuller. We'll see. Oh, I made that a nice little ditty one. Wow. Oh yeah, I did, didn't I? I used a different size. Silly me. Right. So. Uh, I will show you some of the picture frames that I am going to do pictures in. And as I say, they are from the pound shop. But they are really nice frames and once you've shabby chiced them they look gorgeous especially if you put some um, gilding wax on them right right so you could obviously do the many size you could stop there 
and think, yep, yeah, that's it, I'm done. Or you could think, no, I'm going to do a little bit more. If you're putting it on a bigger present, well, I'll be putting this on the, well, not that box, but a box that I will be giving out at Christmas. I want it to be as full as possible. Right, now, you give that a right good pushing down. And that will settle. It just, it wants to fight at the moment. And I'm going to take a scrap and I'm going to put that on there. And I'm going to make this a nice firm one right in the middle. Let's make sure that's going to fit. Let's do that a bit, a bit better. There. Right, so this has gone decidedly better than the last time. Oh, that was a video. Honestly, take pity on me when you watch it. And don't think too harshly of me. But at least by me going wrong on film, I can show you how to get out of some of the, the problems. Right, so what you'll do at the end is just give it a, a poofing up. And there you are. What do you think? That is how they're supposed to look. And then once they're on the presents, that is how they look. Much, much better than that. The bane of my last video. So yeah, there you are. That is how they are supposed to look. Right, so I shall say ta-ta for now. Please do take pity on me in the next tutorial. That was just one of those days. We all have them. Right, so I will say goodbye for now. And I look forward to seeing you again. Thank you for spending part of your day with me. Bye-bye.